Hey guys, welcome back to Paracore Planet. Today we're going to be doing the Solomon's Fire Bracelet. It's a bracelet that we've had a lot of requests for recently. It's not so different from the Cobra Bracelet. It basically just adds two accent colors. So let's dive right in. So for this project, you're going to need about 10 feet of your base color, and then 5 feet of these two accent colors, and then a buckle. Um, I've got 3 8 inch, a half inch would also work nicely. So we'll set those aside. Start by finding the middle of your base color. I'm using black. The other two colors are Atomic and Explode, if you're interested in getting those ones. Once you've found the middle of your cord, just like a Cobra bracelet, we're going to stick it down through the middle and attach it using a cow hitcher lark's head. And then the other ends stick through the other side of the bracelet, or the other side of the buckle, excuse me. Make sure you get any twists out of your cord before you start. It's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to detach the buckle and find the right size. You're going to want to make this quite a bit bigger than you make a Cobra bracelet. It's just a bit bulkier and so you want to start with a bigger base to it. So. So I'm overlapping by quite a bit but I think that's what I'm going to go with so that the final bracelet actually fits me. So pinch here so that you keep your spot and bring your two cords up to the side like usual. All right, so once you've got the bracelet the size you want it to be, we're going to start by just doing the basic cobra weave. So I'm going to put the right side over the top, the left cord over that, and then around the back, and up through the loop. Before you tighten that down, we're going to add in our accent cords. Leave your two loops on the side. We put our right side cord over the top. So on that side, we're going to be sticking one of our accent cords up through that loop, and then we're just going to put the end down through the middle, just to get it out of the way. We have our end ending on the bottom of the bracelet so that it's not visible. On the other side, we're going to be putting our other accent color down through the left loop. It looks a little crazy here at first. Be sure to leave just a couple inches so that those cords don't pull through. And then go ahead and cinch down your black cords. That will look something like this. It's important to get the right cords on each side so that with our right side black cord going over the top, if you mirror what I did for the accent cords, you're going to end up with a different weave. It still looks cool, but it's not the one that you saw in the thumbnail. To keep going, just like in the Cobra Weave, we're going to alternate our square knot in the middle. So take the left cord, put that over the top. The right side cord goes over that and around the back. If you're not familiar with the basic Cobra Weave, we've got a video on that and we'll put a link in the description. So now, our yellow cord on this side is going to go around the back and up through this right side loop. And this orange cord is going to go around the front and down through that left loop. Now there's a lot of cords going everywhere on this, but if you remember that the orange cord is always going to go across the top, the yellow cord is always going to go across the bottom, then it, you're able to keep them straight a little bit easier. So first I'm going to tighten down the black Cobra Weave. 
And after that, you can go ahead and tighten your accent cords. And then it helps to tighten down that cobra weave one more time. All right, so now we've got our pattern established. I'll do a couple more so you can tell what's going on. We're back to our right side being over the top, left around the back. Make your two loops. This orange cord went across the front last time, so it's going to go across the other way this time. This yellow cord goes around the back and up through that left loop. Tighten down your cobra, and then the accent colors. So now we're starting to get this cool zigzag pattern where the orange goes all the way across and you just see this little blip of yellow on each side. I'm going to keep on doing that to the end and I'll show you how to finish it off. All right, we made it to the end. To finish this off, it's pretty simple. We're just going to cut and trim the ends. If you want to tuck your top cords down to the bottom so that you don't have any cord ends showing, you can do that. I'm just going to clip them right where they are. So there's our Solomon's Fire Bracelet. We'll put links to all the supplies that we use down in the description. Um, so that's the paracord colors and the buckle. We hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. And subscribe if you want to see more paracord tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.